Friend, brother, leader. There's three of the many words used to describe Davenport West standout, Jermylan Gardner, who tragically passed away in June, and tonight his legacy was remembered. Gardner's jersey is now hung up inside the Davenport West gym. Classmates, teammates, and friends wore commemorative shirts and collectively held a moment of silence. It was also announced that West will have an annual award given out to one boy and one girl named after Gardner. It is clear, though, the impact the 16-year-old had on the entire Quad Cities community. The past few months has been, uh, it's been bittersweet. You know, of course, it was a great loss for, of course, me as the immediate family and uh, the community, but uh, as a support it goes, it goes to show that love, loyalty, and respect can take you a long way. And, um, and mixed with that, dedication and devotion, it like, if you can't top that, you'll be able to accomplish any type of fear or problems you ever go through in your life. I appreciate all the love and respect. It goes to show that I'm not the only one that's going to sleep thinking about him. And it goes to show that, like, look, he left a legacy, you know? And, like, if he'd done all this so much at 16, just imagine what he could have done if, it, if, if he would have grown a little bit more. Over to the game, the Falcons at home against Davenport Central. Here come the Falcons. Senior Idris Thomas is open on the wing, jab step, and knocks down the three ball. West leads this one early, three to nothing. For Central, Elias Vargas sizes up his defender and pulls the trigger on the long ball. Blue Devils down by three. Back comes West, Devontae Bradford, the catch and shoot three. Kaboom, Falcons now up by six at home. First Central, Carter Light with a hard drive to the rim, and he gets the bucket. Central down by four. Back and forth we go. Thomas again from three. Nothing but net. This game is delayed due to a power outage. It will be finished at a later date.